Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. So today I'm making a video that is a little different than my usual content. As you can see, I'm not playing a mobile game right now. Uh, instead, I wanted to talk about the PC I just recently built uh, using this gorgeous, gorgeous case, the Height Y60. It's over here on the right. You can see it's actually live and it's just a little bit far off to the right. That's why I have a second camera set up. And so you know, I uh, when I saw this case, the Height Y60, I just, I knew, I fell in love with it. I wanted to build a PC with it. And I wanted to share what it's going to look like with all of the components inside as well. Because that's one of the things that I found myself doing a lot of, and that is searching the internet, searching on the web, just to see, hey, what does it look like if I'm using a Height Y60 case with these different components? And so I wanted to make a video to talk about what I've put in there and what it ends up looking like. So I will have all of the parts that I have in the description below. Uh, I did also try and attempt to do a how to build sort of time-lapse video, and I will probably have put a little bit of that in there, but I'll have to be honest, it wasn't that great. It, it, the, the camera angles weren't really good, and I didn't think that it was going to be any better than what you could find out there. So instead, I'm going to focus on just kind of showing you what this looks like now that it's built, and also talk about specifically one little mod or one hack that I found that might help you out. And that is specifically, how do you get a Lee and Lee fan, which I absolutely adore. I love the Lee and Lee fans. And this is actually sort of, you know, the height Y60 case plus Lee and Lee combo. So how do you get three Lee and Lee fans to go into the site panel if you aren't using a radiator. So a little bit about my setup right here. I have one fan in the back for exhaust. I have three fans on the top also, um, you know, mounted to the radiator for exhaust as well. And then I have three fans that is on the side panel. But the thing with the Height Y60 case is that if you're not using a radiator, then you're only really gonna be able to mount two. In fact, I think that, I don't know that you can actually put a 360 radiator on the side either, okay? And so for me, I originally started with the two fans, but I, I really, really wanted a third one. I just felt like it just filled up the space so much nicer. But the problem is the mounting hole in the side panel didn't line up when you put three Lee and Lee fans together. Now, the thing is the Lee and Lee fans, they, when you daisy chain together, they actually are very strong because uh, because of the way they clip together, you can actually you know hold them as one unit. So I wanted to take advantage of that. And so I ended up finding a really extremely cheap solution. It was essentially free for me and hopefully it would be free because these are relatively easy pieces to find, or if not, I have the link as well so you can actually get them for yourself. So the MVP is going to be this. This is a Lego beam. It specifically is a Lego beam six times 0 0.5. Now the one I'm showing you here is actually thicker because I ran out of the ones I had. I had exactly the right number of uh, these beams and I'll show a picture of that as well. Uh, but yeah, um, these ended up being all you needed. Plus I went and got these screws, uh, these what you call the slotted combination drive machine screws at Lowe's. And it was like a dollar thirty or something like that for a for a pack. And the length I got was three eighths of an inch, but I think you can go with a half inch and that should be okay as well. In fact it may make it a little bit easier. And so the essentially the problem here is the way that the site panel mounts are done it's intended for you to line up your mounting holes perfectly so that if you have two uh, fans, they will line up well. But if you have a third fan, then it's offset. You can't actually, you can't actually screw the hole in, in into the bracket. And so what you do in, is you use the Lego piece. I'm going to show you with a thinner piece here. You basically use this as an extension to the bracket and you want to use a slotted combination uh, machine screw because what happened is I tried to use like a different type of screw that looks like this. And you can see that the head is, uh, can you see it? It's really bulgy and, and bulky. And what happens is you can actually see the screw from the side. And so I didn't think that was really good. So you really want to use this slotted uh, combination drive machine screw so because it's flush. So all you have to do is uh, take the screw, you take one of your beams and you basically connect this on the outside 
okay, on, on, on the right, on, on the outside of the, the side panel, you put the screw in. So here's the panel. You put the screw in, you put the, the beam in, and then you put a, I, I put two washers in there so that it doesn't put too much pressure and bend, uh, bend the, the beam too much. And then you just screw it in. Okay, so this way you basically just, um, and this is how you can sort of get it secure to the mount. And now you have an extension. You have an extension and the opening of these beams is actually the perfect size for the screw that comes with the Lee and Lee fans. And what you can do is with the six by 0.5, I actually screw on the top hole. Uh, you can see I'm not screwing on the top hole here because I'm not, I don't have the right piece here, but essentially you screw this into the top hole and then you can actually line up the other two holes on the bottom here of your beam to the opening of your fans. And I only just used one screw and I screwed it into one of the, the fans screw holes and I repeat it on all four parts where I could uh, on the uh, on the bracket you'll see in the picture. And it worked well. So it's actually really stable. And you can see here, it's uh, I've actually moved the case around a little bit and it's completely secure. I don't hear any rattling. So the fan isn't moving around with any uh, any move, like when I, when I turn up the fan speed, it actually doesn't rattle in there. One of the concerns I had was it would actually bang against um, the head of the, the screw and it would make a lot of noise, but so far, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear anything so far. And so I thought that, you know, this is a extremely cheap and effective way to get this mod if you're using Lee and Lee. Unfortunately, this really only works with Lee and Lee, I think, because of the fact that you can um, connect them together and so that they become one solid unit. And so I wanted to take advantage of that. And if you are thinking about using a Lee and Lee, uh, you know, fan with the Heights Y60 case, and you really wanted to have the three intake, this is how you can do it. So uh, that's gonna be, you know, my little tip here. And I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to put the, the components I put down uh, in the in the link as well. If you have any questions about uh, any anything about uh, what I did here, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I'm happy to share any information I know. And so that's gonna be it from me for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.